My uh, topic today is ACL reconstruction in pediatric patients. We have a special uh, interest about the pediatric adolescent knee because they have more functional instability comparing to the adult patients. So our children is very different in, in, in terms of structural, neuromuscular, biomechanical, and hormonal because they are growing. So bo for boys for until 16 years average, for girls 14 years, they, they are growing. They, they have, have very knee rusty until growth is complete. So we need to have careful individual analysis for this specific, very valuable for our future uh, dream. So the, the functional instability and the physical plate is a very important consideration when doing the in treating ACL injuries. So now, so. Uh, until our society is developing, so we have a very good uh, uh, interest about the psychological health for our children because uh, the ACL injury makes the reducing sports activities. This is a, a breakdown of a friendship and the teamwork and unable to participate in sports activities. This memory is very painful for for the children until the whole life. So, so this is our duty to return back to sports activities, to making friendship and teamwork in these very valuable ages. So until COVID-19, we should have a specific consideration of our school uh, ages uh, to uh, the sports activity must go on. Uh, so although our society has a lockdown, we need to specific consideration of the, uh, the adolescent and the, the children to move on to maintain their the psychological activities and the phys physical activities. So this is the epidemiology of Korea. So the, inc the incidence of the Asian reconstruction is increasing now and especially for the 10 to 20 years. So there is a gradual increasing. So absolutely male predominant for the Asia in Korean societies, comparing to Europe, especially for United Kingdom and America. So our total incidence is almost similar to the United Kingdom. So 29.1 per 100,000 people. Comparing to the America, so we have one third of incidence. So America uh, got uh, more injury uh, that because they are participating more uh, highly grade activity, uh, sports activities in the, uh, in the uh, adolescent ages. So increasing aging group is 20 and under 20s. So maybe uh, th we, we need to prepare for the future to treat treatment for the, so for the pediatric ages. What about the treatment option? So this is generally believed that wait until the advice is stable or advice is closure. But as I mentioned before, the functional instability is increasing and the cross plate is not so dangerous and the, the uh, pediatric psychological problem is another issue. So for the, for the children's human right, so we need to do something to, to prevent these kinds of uh, damages. Non-operative treatment makes residual instability and increasing secondary injury. This will make some uh, uh, the MRSS 33.7 times more instability than the operating group and the risk of uh, meniscal injury and chondral injury is more than 12, 12 times. So this is not safe. This is not a, 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 not a good uh, choice for these uh, growing children. So current consensus for the ACL care in pediatric patients is early surgical intervention and the restoring stability of the knee. 
So we have several options of treatment option. So fissure sparing technique, it has an advantage of avoiding disruption of open physis and the decreasing chance of growth disturbance, but it has this advantage of uh, only partial improvement wear and wear and stress on the graft, especially on this uh, femur. This is very sharp angle of a graft bending, a bending angle and the increasing risk of re-rupture. So this is generally recommended of girls less than 11, boys less than 12, uh, is recommended to physio sparing ACL reconstruction because they have significant growth remaining. And another option is a trans physio. That means physio respecting technique. It has advantages with the simple, norm, simple uh, technique uh, with a, a natural tension pattern. But this advantage is uh, the increasing risk of growth disturbance and angular deformities. So, fissure uh, respecting technique means uh, no bone plug or hardware through the physis and the, the, the use of fixation away from the physis, for, exam for example, the, uh, the end of button or X button to avoid the potential risk of premature, premature growth plate closure. This is a result of the systematic review. So, on the summary, so there is no difference between the trans fissure and the fissure sparing in terms of leg length discrepancy, angular deformity, and the re-rupture rate. So, maybe we can use both the trans fissure and the fissure sparing in the adolescent group but special consideration of not harmful for this uh, growth plate. So this is our protocol. So we, we use the research stage. Less than stage two, we uh, introduce the physics sparing technique with outside in with the flip cutter. And more, the research stage more than three, we introduce the trans TBR technique with the soft tissue graft. This is the case of 11, May, 11 years of May with research stage zero. So we introduced the flip culture with the CM and then for the safety of the uh, physis, we can introduce the outside in technique. Uh, this is the CT and the DCDX ray to sparing physis. So this is the result. And we have a special consideration after the surgery. This is our result. So, uh, re-rupture rate of our past uh, 700 patients, re-rupture rate is 2.4% of uh, adults. However, this is the result of the uh, children, the adolescent 14.2%, significantly higher than the adults. And what about the contralateral rupture? So, only 6 in the adult, 1% but 8.6% for, uh, for the adolescent group. So maybe the rupture rate of the graft and the contralateral rupture is significantly higher than the adult group. This is the problem. So why? So this is because of the functional instability. So we need to, we need to introduce a specialized injury prevention program for this uh, higher uh, risk group of uh, uh, adolescent. So return to play at uh, nine months is uh, still dangerous, is uh, safe for the adults, but still dangerous for the adolescent. So the return to play, uh, especially for high level activities until two years is uh, significantly safer than the early return to sports. This is our research for the, for the muscle uh, strength. This is the two years result. So contralateral knee still shows a significantly muscle uh, uh, weakness comparing to the normal group without any ACL injury. This is uh, one of the cause of contralateral rupture. This is the, the reconstructed group. Uh, the reconstructed knee significantly lower than normal knee. So 
we need to special uh, consideration to restore muscle strength and the functional st status in both rim uh, without the, although there is not injured rim this we think this rim also have some significant uh, weakness and uh, the sensory uh, dysfunction this is our meta meta analysis of the injury prevention so as ratio of 0 0.4 this is effective especially for the plyometric and the strengthening balance especially for for the adolescent group is uh, uh, e efficient for the injury prevention uh, mechanism so what is the, the, the how can we introduce this uh, injury prevention so we introduced uh, modified Mandelbaum method with warm up, stretch, uh, stretching, strengthening, plyometric, agility, these kinds of uh, injury prevention for 20 minutes before start the, the high level activities. So, so this will significantly reduce the risk factor. So the problem is that the children, adolescents, uh, so easily return back to sports. So comparing to the others, after eight months of Asia reconstructions, 50% of adolescents return back to sports. However, the, for the uh, the beam symmetry index, only 29% uh, uh, has returned return to the functional level. So too early return back to sports it will increase the re-rupture and the secondary uh, injury. So this is our um, message. So injury prevention at least one year is safe for the, for the adolescent group. So this is the, the survey from the active uh, Erodicus Herod, Society in AOSSM. So they have uh, enough uh, uh, experience of treatment experience so gross arrest is uh, 11 percent but current research current report nothing so tbr side they want to transphysia and the femoral side 50 percent uh, transphysia 10 percent uh, the yeah, physia sparing 32 percent still they maintain over the top the escape the yeah, physia injury grab the choice 60% autogenous hamstring, 20% the, the patellar bone tendon. So this is our ongoing research for ARL healing and clinical outcome in Asia reconstructions comparing to the adolescent group and the adult group. So the, our conclusion until now is adolescent group has low rate of healing of ARL and then increase the functional instability comparing to the uh, adult group. So maybe special treatment of AL injury could be considerable procedure, especially in adult adolescent patients. In summary, ACL injury in pediatric patients have a different characteristic compared to adults. More active and enthusiastic treatment should be considered for both the physical and the mental care. The result of physical sparing and the transphysial results are generally acceptable. Relatively higher incidence of rupture and the contralateral injuries should be considered. Specific post-operative management is needed to prevent complications for this age group. Thank you very much.